rotten eggs. Okay. It looks like it too. It looks like yolks. So is that uh, solid? This is solid. Yep. Good question. Thank you for reminding me to tell you. So you could write that in your flame. That's solid. If you don't have your thing in here, just um, remember. Okay. Yep. So sulfur is a solid. Yep. You can get it before picture. Just a second. Um, no. <laughs> we're not putting it in liquid. We're doing two solids and we're heating them up. Oh, okay? Rip, rip That's why the heat I put above the arrow. Oh, so here's the uh, iron fillings. Yeah. This is what you put in your copper sulfate solution, the blue solution in your test tube. That's yep. solid, right? Yep. It does. So let me put... It's if you would like to, you can take a picture of that and then I like can put the... this. Just hold it up in the air so I'm like, this is You get a picture of it? Wait, isn't this what mine did? The Sorry, not taking it. This is the thing that mine did for that one time. You're right. I'm taking a video the whole time. There's nothing new. I hate you. Memories. Okay, here's the sulfur and the iron. Does anyone need a picture of what it is? Now, the only other thing that I was going to show you to write down for the evidence, okay, remember the whole magnet thing I wanted to show you? Oh, that's not what I was showing you. Here you go, thanks. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, it is. So, if you want a picture of that, this is evidence showing the reactant iron is magnetic. So yeah, stuff in the no, uh, you mean like those uh, etch sketches? So let's heat it up. No, it, it should work. No, I don't know what the etch sketches. Guys, move. Okay, I'm sorry. now I have to get a video of this. There are so many people here. I know, there's so many trolls. Back on the table. Hey, hmm? I'm in the back. Get to the back, Andrew. Get to the back. You're too tall. No. Here, come here. Yeah, you can go right there. Go in there. Yeah, they come up front. Just a minute. Now, if you're up close and personal, yeah, I got it. You should be able to get a good event. <laughs> Okay. So it's heating, and in a minute you'll be able to see the fumes going up. But be patient, please. So you, if you, get, ah. okay, you should be able to see. Do you see how it's turning like the reddish color, and then the fumes going up? Yeah, do that. My group had this project. We already did this. Okay. So it's turning into the iron. Okay, there's the fumes. That's that's like so toxic. God, it's like a stereotypical white thing. That's not very cool. No. I'll take a picture. It's growing. It's well, that's why we're using a test tube. That's, that's fire. No, don't, don't do it. You'll die. No, what? Okay. Oh, I think it's all heated. You can kind of see the fumes going up. I can see it from the very bottom. Yeah, I can see it bubbling. Yeah, it's that yellow stuff. Yeah. What would it take to make that these beakers break? First of all, it's not a beaker. Fine. It's a test tube. That's what I meant. Um, I don't know how hot they go up to. Okay. We could find out. Let's go 3,000 yes, degrees. Could. Okay, so I'm going to shut that off. We're going to, when that cools off, see if it's still magnetic. What do you think it's going to be? No. Why not? Yeah. Oh, I need a watch glass. I'll do it twice because there's a lot of people in here. The zinc. Dust. Okay, so what is the state of matter? Solid. Solid. Okay. And then this is iodine. I'll let you take a picture in just a minute, so don't let me forget. This is 
This is the iodine. Okay. And I told you it goes from a state of matter of, so what is this state of matter? Solid. Solid. And it's going to go directly to something else, okay? So I want to see if you can figure it out. It's not difficult. Oh, I haven't seen this. Can we get a before picture? I know, I just thought of that. Okay, so there's the before. Where works. I'll do it again for those of you that aren't right here. So there's your before. And for the thing, you should probably just do a video.